all they want to get is the truth. Just the facts. No bull. Tense words exchanged at a meeting to sort out what went wrong with an investigation into the death of a UNLV student. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. An investigation into a deadly fraternity boxing match is now complete, but a fight is still continuing outside the ring as the head of the commission tears into Metro. This is a story the 8 News Now I team first broke. The I team's Vanessa Murphy here now with the very latest fallout from an investigative report she first obtained. Denise and Brian, the Nevada Attorney General's office says Metro Police failed to investigate whether foul play was involved in the deadly fraternity boxing match. Metro Police insist they did review the case and as mentioned, that meeting was tense. Are you going to come in and do the right thing? I'm, I, I'm asking you to answer binary questions, either you're yes or no. You represent Metro. You're here. We appreciate that very much. It doesn't seem like it. Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Stephen Klubeck addressing Metro Deputy Chief James La Rochelle after the release of this report. The Nevada Attorney General's office investigated this fraternity boxing match in November. 20 year old Nathan Valencia, a UNLV student seen here in red headgear, collapsed after his match and died from head injuries. A key finding identified in the report, a failure by Metro to look into whether foul play was involved. Did you do a homicide investigation? Sir, I'm trying to... Did you? I'm asking you a question. We did not do a homicide okay, investigation. So never... Deputy Chief La Rochelle saying that's after input from the Clark County District Attorney's Office. Here's Chairman Klubeck addressing Assistant DA Christopher Lawley. I received a copy of the report this morning, and I am not in any position whatsoever to comment on the report. So uh, how could you come to a meeting when you got a certified letter from this commission putting you on notice that you were being talked about? You're not prepared? I didn't. Are you kidding? No, you just said you're not prepared. I, you did, said you didn't read anything and you're not prepared. I didn't receive a copy of the report. That means you're not prepared. As first reported by the IT Monday, investigators listed numerous protocols which weren't followed at the unregulated event. Commissioner Anthony Marnell calls it an underground fight. This is a cluster beyond belief from one end to the other on organization, promotion, safety, inspection, drugs, alcohol in the ring. I mean, really, a referee drinking in the ring. The report also raises questions about Valencia's opponent, Emmanuel Ailman. Investigators say they were able to examine all gear used at the event except for his. Witnesses said his hands were wrapped long before the fight. This is one of his attorneys, Jordan Logan. If you have the gloves, just tender them. There are no games. You want to play games? There's no games. Then just tender them tomorrow. I want the gloves. Just tomorrow. Ask. Tomorrow, please. We'd love to have the gloves have, tomorrow. Have, have them asked. We, I'm asking you right now. We'd love to have them tomorrow, please. Okay. Can we have them tomorrow, please? I will talk to my client. On oh. Monday, Ilman's attorneys told the I team they advised him not to speak with investigators. But now. It begs the question, though, why not speak to investigators? Who? Who should we have spoken to? The no Attorney way. General's Office for the investigation. The Attorney General's Office just said they didn't get the case until months later. The Metro didn't have the case. Who were we supposed to talk to? The Attorney General's Office was doing the investigation, so why not speak to them? There was no refusal to speak to the Attorney General's Office. So if investigators want to talk to Emmanuel now, will you advise him to talk to them? or They can reach out to me and we will discuss with them whatever it is they'd like to discuss. Okay. And this just in from the Valencia family. They are pleased with the findings and appreciate the Attorney General Office's efforts. They also hope the Nevada legislature implements changes to ensure events like this never happen again. So far, Nathan's law helps close a loophole in the regulation of student matches, but the commission also acknowledges more needs to be done. Metro Police released a statement a short while ago calling the hearing unprofessional and unproductive also saying the department is willing to assist the attorney general's office if they want to move forward with any criminal prosecution. Denise, back to you.